So you want to know how to see the CPU usage on your Minecraft server. Well, in order to see that, you're going to need this plug in here it's called spark and it will run a cpu profile that actually allows you to see different things and performance issues with your minecraft server by looking at the cpu usage it it also allows you when you run slash tps in game to get a little more information about your server including cpu stats all using spark so let's go ahead and get it now you can find the link to download spark at the second link in the description down below and once you're here you want to click on this download now button and the plugin will start downloading while it is downloading though have to miss our sponsor apex minecraft hosting where you will find amazing high performance minecraft servers at a truly incredible price we love and trust apex so much that we host our own server play our breakdown craft.com on them and again if you want high quality performing servers with amazing modern hardware go check out apex the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex apex is also one of the only hosts i know that actually has true hardware transparency so you can check them out again first link down below nonetheless spark is now downloaded you may have to keep receive the file depending on your browser and we can minimize our browser and here's our server we're just going to use this on a local server here we want to go ahead and go to our downloads folder and drag and drop spark from the downloads folder into our plugins folder on our server here right so here we are on our server plugins and drag and drop spark in here now i have other plugins on this server just because i think it's gonna be cool to show them to you later let's go ahead and run the server and then we'll jump in game to really get a showcase of spark and what it can do so here we are in our server if we run slash pl or plugins we'll be able to see all of the plugins here including spark now, one of the cool things about Spark is real time being able to see your CPU usage across your entire server as well as your entire box, your entire system, right? Which would be either your computer or if you're at a shared host, the entire like dedicated server that your server is on. So if you run slash TPS, you'll get a different view than you're probably used to here. And what this is, is right down here, you can see your CPU usage. So the system or my entire computer is using between 18% of its CPU and 17% over the last 15 minutes. But Minecraft's not using much over the last 15 minutes, just 2% of my CPU. So not too bad, and it's a way that you can easily get these insights right away. If you see this spiking, like your process is using 100% of your CPU, obviously you're having a CPU-related lag issue, which Spark can also help you diagnose. So to do that, you want to run slash Spark space profiler, and then hit enter. And when you do that, as you can see, a new profiler is starting basically and the profilers is now active and you can start it with spark profiler stop now we're going to do that here in one second but uh first we got to get this uh, kind of profile building some stuff so i'm just going to walk around this world and there we go the profiler has now been running for a few minutes so we can run slash spark space profiler and then dash dash stop and that's going to stop and upload, as you can see, the profiler results. Now, in order to see those, we're going to need to come back out here and open up this link. So we're going to go ahead and copy it to our clipboard, come up here to basically our browser, paste this in. And this is from our server, and it's the real-time CPU readings. Now, as you can see up here, TPS was 20 and all this stuff. It's honestly great, 2% CPU usage. We have no issues. But you can see all the cool stuff over the entire time that this was running. Now, then we can open up our server and dig down into what is using CPU on our server. Now, since we don't have any lag issues, there's actually not really much to look at here, but we can see what is using the most out of what's there, and it's unsafe park, which basically is kind of gibberish, right? You don't know what that is, and because it's kind of just saying the server's idle, and that's basically all it's saying there. So with that, there's nothing much you need to do. It's just kind of sitting there. And that's what you want to see. This is a server that's not lagging. If the server was lagging, you might see things like entities or hoppers or something like that that's up here at the top. And those would be defined as very high CPU usage. Now, one thing I also want to mention is Spark has a lot more features. And you can see those here, all the different stuff that you can do with Spark. And this is listed in the description down below as Spark commands. So as you can see, if you want to view ping on players across the server, you can do slash Spark ping. That's a huge, huge thing about being able to actually get the ping of everyone on the server. Now, as you can see, there's not enough data because I've not been on here long enough a few minutes on that server, but it's a great way to see average ping and even average ping for specific players. So there's so much you can do here. It truly is an incredible plugin and it's worth looking more into all of these, but this was about how to see CPU usage and how to identify CPU lag issues. And this is how. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.